Google Workspace is a suite of business applications and collaboration tools that you can use to administrate your business and accomplish most of the day-to-day office tasks like emails, meetings, spreadsheets, and more. The most popular app in Workspace is Gmail, but there are other apps in the suite that you might not know. So in this video, we are going to give you a quick overview of all of them as fast as possible. Let's start with Gmail, which is an email app where you will receive all your emails and respond to them. You can use your own domain like info at bloongo.com. Gmail is one of the industry standards and comes packed with features like message categories, different inbox types, smart compose, filters, and more. It also integrates with other apps like Google Chat or Meet, allowing you to respond to colleagues or create meetings directly from Gmail. Next, we have Meet that you can use to have video calls with your colleagues and clients. You can start meetings right away or schedule it for later using Google Calendar. Some of the best features are screen sharing, live captions, visual effects to remove or change your background, breakout rooms, and meeting recording. Google Chat is a messaging collaboration tool that you can use to chat with other people in your organization. You can also create group chats and a more advanced version of a group chat called Spaces that has some extra functionality. You can access the chat from Gmail or open it in its own window. You can share files from Google Drive, create Google Meet meetings, send calendar invites, and also use emojis, GIFs, and send pictures. Google Calendar is the app that you are going to use to schedule events. You can have multiple calendars on this app and choose which ones you want to share with your colleagues or even with the entire organization. You can also add a Google Meet meeting where you will create an event. Some features are the ability to customize the notifications, set up your working hours and location, and also block time off so coworkers know that you are not available during those hours. Google Drive is a cloud storage solution where you can store, access, and share your files. You can create folders and subfolders to keep everything organized, as well as create shared drives that are great for working with your team. If you like to keep your files on your computer, you can install the app and all the files will be synced. You can also share files with people that are not part of your organization by generating a public link. In the drive, you will find all your doc, sheet, and slide files that you create, as well as the ones that are shared with you. Google Docs is the word processor that you can use to create and edit text documents. You can either create the doc in Drive or open the Google Docs app and create it there. Multiple people can work on the same document in real time, so you can see what others are writing or editing. There are a lot of features included, and it can do pretty much the same as Microsoft Word. Google Sheets is a spreadsheet application that replaces Excel. It has the same functionality as Google Docs regarding collaboration. You can also add an extension that will improve the functionality of Sheets. Google Slides is a presentation tool similar to PowerPoint. Similar to the other two apps, you can collaborate with your team in real time. It integrates really well with Google Meet, so you can share your presentation during your meetings straight from the browser. With Google Forms, you can create forms or surveys and share them with your organization or externally. Once you get responses, you can review them with intuitive graphs that are created for you automatically. And all the responses will be placed in a Google Sheet. When creating your form, you have a lot of different types of questions to choose from, add titles, add images and videos, and even use logic to display questions based on previous responses. Google Sites helps you easily create a website that you can use to organize information, documents and images, and share it with your team as an external website or intranet. The builder will let you drag and drop elements like layouts, Google Drive files, buttons, and more. It works with most Google apps so you can insert calendars, charts, and forms, among others. You can also have as many pages and subpages as you want, and the theme is customizable to match your company branding. If you're enjoying the video so far, please click the like button. It helps the channel a lot and we would really appreciate it. Google Keep is a note-taking app where you can create lists, add and notate images, or write anything. You can even draw notes. Also, if you add reminders to your notes, they will show up in Google Calendar. To organize your notes, you can use tags as well as change the background color. Google Apps Script is a low-code platform that you can use to create scripts to automate and improve the functionality of apps in Google Workspace. If you would like to perform an action that is not available in Gmail, for example, you can create a script that will do it and then execute it either from the app or from a custom menu. App Script works with most of the apps in Google Workspaces. Google Cloud Search is an application that you can use to search across all your company's content. 
You can search for emails in Gmail or for files in Drive, but if you use Cloud Search, you will be searching in all the apps at the same time. The results will be displayed in different tabs and you can easily filter them. You can use Google Jamboard to sketch ideas on a whiteboard. You can draw, add text or images, create sticky notes, and insert shapes. Just as with Google Docs, you can collaborate with your team in real time while editing the file. Additionally, you can actually buy a Jamboard screen that will allow you to physically take notes and edit the documents. The Google Admin app is where you're going to manage your entire organization in account settings. Here you will add, edit, and remove users, manage devices and applications, configure security features, and a lot more. You can also see reports and statistics about the different apps that your business uses. Google Endpoint will help you manage your organization devices as well as other devices that your employees might use for work. You can require lock screens, strong passwords, and add or change the other company policies. If a device gets lost, you can wipe the data remotely. Endpoint is part of the Google Admin app. Google Vault is an app that will let you retain, search and export emails, Google Drive files, chats, and others to quickly respond to legal inquiries, investigations, and requests for records. You can search for records of accounts that are active or suspended. The last app on the list is Google Work Insights. Here you will be able to see information about how the different Google Workspace apps are being used. There are insights about work adoption, work patterns, and collaboration. All right, guys, that's it. Those are all the apps included in Google Workspace. We hope you enjoyed the video and would really appreciate if you clicked on the like button and subscribed. We have several tutorials about Gmail, Calendar, and Drive on this channel, so please check them out. There are links in the description below. Thanks for watching.